Sega. Lieutenant, I'm a friend of Ethan Thomas. He must be warned. He must know that it's not over. I've tried contacting him, but... Right there. He found me. I don't have much time. Ethan trusted you. I... I received the call 1036 this morning. Any idea who this man is? Why he called you? No, sir. Where is former Agent Thomas? We're not sure. It's been 11 months since his suspension. He was cleared of those charges. Right. Nevertheless, he resigned from the agency shortly after and basically disappeared. Probably passed out in some gutter. Unlikely. A man like that doesn't just lie down quietly. Okay. Let's find Mr. Thomas and bring him in. For you, says his name's Malcolm Van Horn. Right, but if he calls again, I'm hanging up. Some fucking answer machine. That's me, Ethan Thomas. Drunk, tired, and pissed off. Why? Because this damn city's too fucking blind to see what's killing them. But I can. I've seen the unspeakable. It's out there. I have a feeling we're about to get better acquainted. sitting in the mud. Hey, let me help you up. Piss off. Hey, just off. You don't need to bite my head off. But I gotta tell you, you smell worse than I do when I sleep in garbage.
Damn. Hey, screw you. Whoa, we got ourselves a mean drunk. Real grade A asshole. Look, man, I don't need another enemy. And you probably don't either. So let's say we start over. Man, I got just the thing that's gonna make us friends. And follow me. Yeah, I'm guessing ain't much waiting for you at home, except for drinking alone. Man. Hey, were you ready for that drink? Get my hand in this game. Hey, hey, step in there, open it up, please. Get out of the way. Don't say that to my face. I should have killed you a long time ago.
Ben Horn, hold up! I want to talk to you.
old man. You have to let us out first. <laughs> Malcolm, what's happening?
Hey, we're just having a little fun. Do it now. Now step away. Keep your hands where we can see them. Stop. Let him go. This is Dorland. Subject secured. Affirmative. What was that about? Ah, uh, forget it. I need you to listen to this. He found me. I don't have much time. Ethan trusted you. I... Do you recognize the voice? His name is Malcolm Van Horn. Sir, we have a positive ID. Yes, Malcolm Van Horn. Van Horn? Okay. Get Thomas in here. We need to act on this right away. Yes, sir. Report to SCU in one hour. You're joking. Ethan, help us. You agreed to help us, but if you want to crawl back under your cardboard box, that's fine by me. Back off. Let's get one thing straight, Mr. Thomas. You're here to help us locate and identify Malcolm Van Horn. Nothing more. Understood? What the hell's your problem? You're a drunk and a liability. Here, take a moment to get familiar with your weapon. Yeah, and chew some of these rats while you're in. Fucked up in this city. That's enough. Let's move. Uh. Team, prepare for entry. Stand clear of the door. Access the lockbox over there and reload your weapon. Thomas, check it out. Let me remind you, unnecessary use of force will not be tolerated.
Okay, let's keep moving. Mr. Thomas, you want to hit a speedball to where it hurts? Lord, what they meant for that? Go ahead. Down is all yours. Hold up. You first, Mr. Thomas. The elevator lobby should be up ahead. Let's go. Sarah Brainson with City News. Tonight we'd like to introduce a new segment called Streets, hosted by Tony Rhodes. Tony is perhaps best known for his work last year during the SKX murders, and we're very excited to see and learn what he uncovers about the city we live in. Tony? Thank you, Sarah. The streets stream out to us. They are in pain, but no one knows why. I'm going to live, eat, breeze the streets for the next few weeks to see if we, the public, can find out what evidently the local government can't or won't tell us. Stay tuned to City News for further live on-the-scene reports. I'm Tony Rhodes. the elevators. Roger that, search team. Stand by. Okay, Ethan. It'll be up to you and me to locate Van Horn. I've uploaded your field kit with what we know so far. Now let's get started. There were two gunshots in the recording suggesting that we may be looking for two bodies, one being Van Horn, the other a Metro police officer. Signature overlays indicate that both shots came from the same weapon, a 38 caliber handgun.
Any officers reported in the area during the time of the call? We've been informed that a Metro officer in the area is no longer responding. Find him. He may be in need of assistance. All right, let's move on. While reviewing the recording, I came across a rumbling noise in the background. It was faint, but when I cross-referenced the sample to known sources, I was able to narrow it down to a passing commuter train. Is there a commuter train that passes near the hotel? Yes, Metro Transit Rail passes by the north wing. Narrow your search to that area. Proceeding to the hotel lobby. Copy that, search team. What the hell are you planning on doing? Taking a shortcut now. Step back! We can access the main lobby through here. I'll go first. LaRue will bring up the rear. Your turn, Mr. Thomas. Are you hurt? Did you break anything? No, I'm good. We got a problem here. The elevator, here it comes. Mr. Thomas, respond. I just we've lost contact.
Mr. Thomas. Stop worrying. I'm in the main lobby. Rosa, come in. Glad to hear you're still with us. What do you got? A dead body. Okay, let's try and make an ID. Shot fatality. Important to know. I'm guessing the shooting is connected to our investigation somehow. Has the body been moved? Is this the crime scene? Okay, it's coming through now. 
a blood trail. Perhaps it will lead you to the actual crime scene. has taken hold of the city and one such hotspot is the once prestigious Preston Hotel. Here is Tony with more on the subject. The Preston Hotel. No longer a city landmark, but a symbol of how dark the city has become. Drugs and violence can be found throughout the hotel and police are no longer making patrols in the area unless under heavy guard. It's a sad reminder of what has been lost. Listen to my special, The Condemned City, tomorrow at 6. Back to you, Sarah.
blood spatter fans outwards, so the victim must have dropped down from the floor above. Rosa, I'm proceeding to the second floor. Are you onto something? Possibly. Copy that. Watch your back. where they walk. I have taken the bum tour, and much of what I have seen can't be fully explained. They appear to be rambling madmen, crazy women, all bent on destruction, but there is a sense of purpose, almost a sense of organization. The violence spirals out of control for the police and fire departments, and here I remain at Grand Zero. Stay tuned to City News for further live on-the-scene reports. I'm Tony Rhodes. Rosa, I've got more evidence here. Is it related to the victim you found earlier? Let me verify. Okay, receiving 
Collecting data. Not much to go off of, Ethan. Keep looking. Van Horn must be around here somewhere. Jesus! Rosa, I've located Van Horn. Excellent. Mr. Thomas, what's your location? I'm in room 191. Well, according to the hotel directory, there is no room 191. Forget it, we'll find you. You're not to touch anything until we arrive. Ethan, in the meantime, send me a picture of the body. tight shot of the chest area. Got it. Sending it to you now. Copy that. Be careful, Ethan. I hear it's getting pretty crazy out there. Have the lab ready. Nobody is to examine the body until it has been removed. Is that understood? Good. I'll see to our other problem personally. Dorland out. I wonder what that was about. Okay, receiving image now. God, what a mess. He took the entire sternum. Wait a minute. This is not possible. Ethan. Ethan, come in. Transport. I'm on route. Two minutes tops. Yeah, you better make that one. There ain't no waiting for this table. English Larue. Get your ass here, or we're toast. Roger that.
son of a bitch! <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
Open the fucking gate! What the hell's going on? Ah. of them. Do you make the sound? Huh? Hmm. You look normal enough, but it's hard to tell sometimes. What? The dark blood, the metal kings, the aura. Do you know these people? Don't want to know them. But they know us. <laughs> Ethan, come in. Are you there? Rosa. <laughs> You're all right. Talk to me. I've lost contact with the team. <laughs> Bastards. Sounds like I missed something. Nothing I can't take care of. Tell me, why was finding Van Horn so damn important? I don't really know. I was hoping you could tell me that. No fucking clue. We need to talk. Hang tight. I'm on my way. <laughs> Rosa. How will I find you? They've closed the roads leading into that part of town. The nearest I can get is Stafford Street. Can you meet me there? It beats sticking around here. <laughs> says jump, you jump. It's more complicated than that. My feathers are roughly like yours, but now is not the time.
Miss saw somebody fit your description into an old doll factory. Is that where you at? My parents moved here from New Orleans when I was a young boy. I grew up in this neighborhood and I want to help. Yeah, the Walker Doll Factory. Good. I played in that old place as a kid. I knew it like the back of my hand. <sighs> Panel has a lock on it. The factory manager can remember more than his name, so I wrote the combo on the wall in his office. Hey.
Where is this damn office? On the second level. Oh, and one more thing. If you come across the ventilation control room, <clears throat> use the air duct as a shortcut. You usually have to move a bunch of shit to find <clears throat> the vent, though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mars made the following statement regarding the emerging riots. At 2 a.m. this morning, fighting broke out in the Trenton district and quickly escalated to a three riot. We are doing all we can to control the situation. Rest assured, officials are currently investigating the increased activity. Thank you. She further stated after the news conference that city businesses outside the riot zone should, if at all possible, stay open. Normal economical activity must continue if we are to make it through this tough time. This is Sarah Brenton, City News. I'm in the safety foreman's office, and the stupid masks better be here. This should be in a large cabinet marked masks. Great, it's fucking empty. Now what? Okay, okay, let me think for a minute. Try looking in the bottom drawer of the foreman's desk. Oh, Jesus, I hope I haven't stirred you in the wrong direction.
Thomas, you still breathing? What's your location? I'm near service elevator 4C. Hmm. I'm not familiar with that elevator, but uh, maybe it don't matter. At the top of the shaft is a vent that leads to the alley. That's how I used to sneak in and out of that place as a kid. <clears throat>
Where's your car? Just down the street. Good. Let's get the fuck out of here. My gun? I need to show you something at the office first. You're kidding. I'm not going anywhere near that place. I might do something I'll regret. Listen, just calm down a minute. I may have found something important. A connection. Between what? Between you and Malcolm Van Horn. Preliminary pathology indicates the victim died from a gunshot wound to the head. More remarkable is the extensive damage done to the chest area. If we look here, we can see that the entire sternum has been extracted. Now the killer inserted what I'm guessing to be a large hunting knife, roughly six to eight inches in length, here at the base of the belly. He then made an X-shaped incision that extends up to the bottom of the chin. He clearly was not concerned with surgical technique. It appears he only wanted access to the rib cage and You the... said you found a connection. I'm getting to that. Rosa, I'm tired, and my head is screaming for a drink, so get to the point. All right. Take a look at this. When I first examined the crime scene photos you sent me, I was a little taken back by the abnormal structure of his vocal cords. They're really quite amazing, and unlike anything I've ever seen before. So he had a deformity? Possibly. Does this look familiar? It's an x-ray of my chest. You showed me this during the SKX investigation. Right, and we noted it odd that your throat area was redacted, or in layman's terms, blackened out. I, I remember, but... Why? Why is it classified as top secret? And why was the same done to Van Horn? Van Horn? What do you mean? His vocal cords are missing. They've been cut out. What? Yeah, and the question is, who's trying to keep it a secret? There's something else. I overheard a conversation. Well, I don't know if I trust Dorland. Dorland's a two-faced ass, if you ask me. Well, there's certainly no love loss between you two. Here, lay down on this table. I want to take an x-ray of your chest. Let's find out if you have the same abnormality. Ethan, this is important. Get on the table.
Now lie still. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm gonna take a few shots. Try not to move. Rosa, I'm ready to get the fuck out of this thing. Rosa, you still there? Hello? Anybody here?
Mr. Thomas, right? I'm Agent Pennington, head of security. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. What the hell's going on? We gotta get you out of here. We're evacuating the building. We'll see if you can open it from your side. The magnetic locks didn't release when the power went out. Mr. Thomas, are you sure you're all right? You're this miserable, just like the others. Damn it! Leave me alone! Who the hell are you talking to? Forget this man. He's already dead. You're not real! You're wasting time. Mr. Thomas, who the fuck are you talking to? Come in! Stand back! dead. Let's get out of here.
Where's that exit? Should be right here. Should be right here! Seeing shit in my head. Still having hallucinations? Perhaps it's your drinking. My drinking is not an issue. Right. Look, I'll go get this processed. In the meantime, Farrell wants to see you in his office for a mission debriefing. Keep your cool. Corner office, fifth floor. Come in. Sit down, Mr. Thomas. Can I get you anything? Yeah. Five aspirins and a shot of soda water. I don't think we... Forget it. Mr. Thomas, please sit so we can get started. Okay, let's begin. 
I'll be asking you questions regarding the recovery mission of Malcolm Van Horn. Please answer them to the best of your ability. Are you ready to begin? As ready as I'll ever be. All right. What happened immediately after leaving the hotel? We carried Van Horn's body away from the hotel. Was LaRue with the group at the time? Yes. What happened next? Dorland shot a power transformer, creating a small explosion. And that's when you were separated from the team, jeopardizing the success of the mission? Jesus, that was not my fault! Grill Dorlin or LaRue about what happened. Mr. Thomas, you should know that Special Agent Dorland is missing. We picked up Agent LaRue a few blocks from the hotel. He and Dorland got separated soon after the victim was extracted. I need you to help us fill in the blanks. Let's continue. Where were you when the helicopter arrived? I was in an old doll factory. Explain what happened once Van Horn was secured. The helicopter started taking fire. Who ordered the pilot to leave the team behind? Dorland. Now, this next question is very important, Mr. Thomas. Why did the team split up? Look, let's stop holding hands like a couple of fucking girls. I know, all right? You didn't want me to come back. Dorland made that perfectly clear. Mr. Thomas, please. You gave Dorland the order to leave me behind. An unfortunate casualty in the line of duty or some bullshit. Did LaRue tell you that? So you're not denying it, then? <sighs> Wires got crossed. There was a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? I almost got killed! Sit down. Fuck you! I'm ordering you to sit down. Jesus Christ! Just shoot me and get it over with! Why did you bring me back? You knew, Van Horn, what to look for! He was just another stiff. Why the risky mission? It was important! We control the situation! Cooperation, Mr. Thomas. That's all I wanted. Cooperation? Then what? Kill me? No. You've got it wrong. You're lying. Why the order to leave me behind? That order did not come from me. My orders were to keep you safe. I swear it. Uh, excuse me, Director? Sir... I've got Agent Dorland on the phone. He says it's important. <sighs> yeah, put him through. Is everything okay in there? Yeah, yeah, just do it. This is Dorland. Agent, where the hell have you been? Mayor Rachel Mars has been murdered. What? Where? She was found. Well, most of her was found in the new museum downtown. Skin peeled away, strips of muscle torn from bone, and her head is missing. Actual cause of death is unknown. How'd you make an ID? Well, she was wearing this badge. Now, apparently, she was visiting the museum director to discuss delays regarding the grand opening. Media? Expect a maelstrom any minute. Someone knows. First Van Horn, and now... Keep your voice down. Agent Thomas? Mr. Thomas. I found this on the body. Mr. Thomas, take a look around. Dolan and I are heading back to the agency. Remember our discussion. 
I'm trying to protect you. Get this to Agent Rosa, SCU ASAP. I'll have it delivered right away. There's too little blood. It should be splattered all over the place. Looks like the perp used the wheelbarrow to transport the body. A bloody tire trail leads to the door certainly suggest the actual crime scene and possibly the head are somewhere in the museum. Unfortunately, we're under strict orders not to enter the museum. Doesn't mean dick to me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it would. Follow me. Here, let me give you a lift. Due to theft, the museum is beefed up to if you need to take them down, don't use a weapon. I'll take that under advisement. Ethan, this is Rosa. I just received that little present you sent me. It's a bit disturbing to think that SKX is still alive. Last time I saw that psycho, half his face lined the inside of a trunk. Well, the body was never recovered, so I guess the chance he survived was always there. Mr. Thomas, the coroner just arrived. He's examining the body now. I'll keep you posted if anything turns up. Okay, this is what we know so far. The victim is Mayor Rachel Mars, age 55, found dead inside the City Museum of Natural History. The body has severe lacerations about the back, chest, and arms, resulting in excessive hemorrhaging. There's also an extensive tearing of muscle and ligament within the same region. Head decapitated just above the collarbone. Whereabouts is still unknown. Alright, and now for the note you sent me. Found on the victim's body was a piece of paper with strangely drawn eyes on one side, and on the other, the acronym of a serial killer known as Serial Killer X. Both written with a black felt tip pen. Did you find any fingerprints on the paper? Yes. I ran it through IAFIS, and guess whose name popped up? Leland Van Horn. I don't need to tell you this, but let's make it official. Leland Van Horn, a.k.a. Serial Killer X, or just SKX, was allegedly responsible for nine serial murders in the greater metro area. He's the nephew to Malcolm Van Horn, 
and was thought to be dead, killed by a gunshot to the face. His body was never recovered. Do you think Van Horn nursed his nephew back to health? I'd say it's the most likely scenario. I have a theory. SKX gets one in the grill. His own flesh and blood, Malcolm Van Horn, nurses him back to health. SKX turns on his uncle and kills him. For perhaps the same reason he murders Rachel Mars. Keep searching the museum. We need more information. shaped saw. Looks medieval in origin. Get a shot of the handle, will you? Got it. Excellent. Look at that. A fingerprint. Give me a moment. Okay, over 50% of the fingerprint found on the handle is compromised by smudging. However, after running the print through IAFIS, I'm able to get a positive match on our suspect, SKX. I'd say SKX is very much alive and is now the prime suspect in the murder of Rachel Mars. What about the saw? You said it looked medieval. Yeah, I hear the museum will feature one of the largest medieval exhibits in the country. Ethan, find the exhibit that tool came from. SKX was certainly there at one point. Okay, hold on a sec. Camera 1501 was installed a week ago and just completed its 48-hour stress test. Ethan, if you think SKX may be on camera, find the surveillance room and let's take a look.
Okay, I'm in the surveillance room. Find the backup drive, and let's see if our favorite madman has made a cameo. Wow, disturbing, but not overly revealing. Keep looking for the exhibit. reportedly missing. Mayor Rachel Mars is dead. Her decapitated body was found earlier today at the Museum of Natural History. Apparently she was murdered, suffering extensive cutting about her body. There are no leads as of yet, but the federal and local authorities have cordoned off the area in an attempt to locate the perpetrators of this heinous crime. More after this. Rosa, I found a museum directory. Good. Tell me the area of the museum you want to find, and I'll update your GPS. Got it. Let me check the blueprints. Okay, Ethan, your GPS has been updated. Tony Rhodes. 
Tony, what do you make of this? Tony? Yes, sir. I'm now a block away from the museum and have seen the unthinkable. Looters scurrying away from the museum, arms loaded with priceless objects of antiquity. It appears the museum has been targeted by these thieves, some literally wearing arms out on their persons. Excuse me, sir. Care to make a comment about the latest event? Crazy death! A goddamn Sir Lancelot rolling down the street! Lights and armor and shit! You even had a fucking sword! Well, that was a rather colorful description. Thank you, Tony. This is City News. of several artifacts within the museum. He's gonna upload their positions for you on your GPS.
one way or another. And while you're at it, collect a sample of those weird-looking metal pieces. Receiving sample data from your field kit now. Let's see. Blood type is AB negative, which is the same as Rachel Mars. Less than 1% of adults have this type, so I would say we have a match. All right, now let's take a look at those metal pieces. Evidence sample consists of thin metal strips and small bolt-shaped pins. Alloy properties similar to Damascus steel, but does not match known foundry formulas. Blood, human tissue, and bone fragments are present on all surfaces of sample. Any evidence the metal pieces came from SKX? I don't think so. However, according to the coroner examining the body, it looks like they may have come from the body of Rachel Mars. I'd say Rachel Mars had a secret, and it may have gotten her killed. What? Some sort of fucked up masochistic lifestyle? Whatever it was, it looked painful. The pathology report will tell us if she was abusing painkillers. Ethan, the cops are on their way. We finally managed to get a warrant to search the rest of the museum. 
Get to the main lobby if you can.
You're looking more beat up every time I see you. I think I overstayed my welcome. I found something when investigating Van Horn's body. Metal pieces? No, 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 something better. I found traces of fecal matter on his shoes. Let me finish. It belongs to an endangered deer species found only in the Black Lake region. You mean the wildlife preserve up north? Yeah, I figure the best way to track SKX is to start with Van Horn and work our way back. Seems like a long shot, if you ask me. Two-hour flight tops. I'll make the arrangements for a plane to take you there. <sighs> All right. I could use some sleep. Good. Dorland here has volunteered to take you. What do you hope to find up there? The target just boarded the plane. Ethan, your chest x-ray shows you do have vocal cords similar to Van Horn's. But even more bizarre. I'm related to Van Horn, is that what you're saying? The thought crossed my mind. However, I was able to confirm that you do not share blood with that family. That's comforting. But you still think I'm connected somehow? Yes, I do. It just seems kind of crazy, that's all. When you land, search the lodge thoroughly and learn as much as you can. It's been abandoned for decades, but I have a hunch both Van Horns were there recently. <sighs> How much time we got left? Hey, buddy, did you hear me? Hello, Ethan. We don't have much time, so I'll get right to the point. Your old boss, Pharaoh, is trying to protect you. Have you taken a moment to contemplate the meaning of this? He's the one that hired you. He guided you through the ranks at SCU and has kept a close watch on your career. Perhaps he's done this under false pretenses. He may have ulterior motives, using you. Something to think about when choosing your friends. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, shit! Mayday! Mayday! This is Flight 324! Come in! Damn it! Thomas, Ethan, this is Deputy Director Farrell. Going there alone was not a good idea. It's time you level with me. No bullshit. Yes, yes, you have every right to question me. Look, there are some of us who see you as the threat, the enemy. And where do you stand? I see you as an asset. A special tool too great to be wasted. Remendium. Remendium? I, I don't understand. Hello? Rosa, come in. You made it. How was your flight? Slept like a baby. Good. What do you have? Coming in now. Let's see. February 24th is today, and 12.03 in the morning was less than six hours ago. This is pretty fresh. You better get a sample and send me the data. Receiving data. Okay, give me a moment. The skin tissue and blood type are definitely human in origin. I'm also detecting concentrations of mineral salts, urea, and amino acids in the sample. It looks like saliva. I need more time to analyze this properly. Keep looking for the lodge. I'll call you back in a few. Ethan, take a look at your field kit. I 
found elevated traces of arginine vasopressin in the saliva. Very unusual. Arginine vasopressin is an amino acid that naturally occurs in mammals and is typically triggered by dehydration. Where does arginine vasopressin come from? It's produced in the hypothalamus and secreted from the pituitary gland. Probably more info than you need right now, though. Rosa, I found a body. Can you make an ID? Okay, got it. Uh, I'm not able to make an ID with what you sent me. Regardless, I'm starting <clears throat> to get a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> Hell of a time to change your mind. Search the main lodge, then get the heck out of there. I can't get into it right now, but something weird is going on here too. What are you guys doing up here? Shut up. Take this. 
up to? I don't understand. This can't be a sanctioned SCU operation, but they're using an SCU frequency. Find Van Horn's library, but do it carefully and quickly. Rosa, I found the door to the library, but it seems to be rigged with some sort of device. Possibly an explosive. Nothing is ever easy, is it? Can you give me more information? Give me a minute to look up this number. Wow, a DETM-12X. Class A. High power detonator used to control multiple remote blast points. Real hardcore stuff. If you see a blinking LED, it means the detonator has been armed. And that's a problem. Ethan, you'll need to find and dispose of all the remote blast points before you can even breathe on that detonator. The system is linked together by pneumatic tubes filled with a gas that glows under UV lighting. This should make finding the blast points easier.
missing for 18 hours now. We're offering a reward for information leading to the return of our van and also our cameraman, Ben Feist. Please notify the authorities immediately if you have any information regarding this unfortunate event. This is City News. side.
arrived at the office. I don't recognize any of them. They're asking a lot of questions about you and Farrell. I'm getting really worried. I've denied having any contact with you. I don't think they believe me, though.
Ethan, once all of the explosives are taken care of, get back to the detonator on the door as fast as you can. The countdown will be triggered. Rosa, I'm back at the detonator and you're right. It's counting down. Okay, quickly describe it to me. There are a couple possible configurations. Got it. Let's see. Okay, according to the information you sent me, you need to cut the cable on the right. I'm pretty sure of it. Rosa, the detonator's been deactivated. Rosa, Ben Horn's computer is asking, what makes me special? It sounds like a password request.
are everywhere. I'm afraid to step outside my lab. If they find out I've been helping you, I, I don't know what they'll do. What about Farrell? Nobody knows where he is. He's just gone. Right now, Dorlin and his agents are acting as if nothing is out of the ordinary. And the commissioner is here, and he and Dorlin are acting like old college buddies. I mean, the city is crumbling all around us. Riots, fires, murders, and now this? I, what's going on? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just worried something bad is about to happen. I'm sure there's an explanation for all this. Why is the commissioner there? Apparently they found him. Found who? SKX. Near the old bowling alley in Trenton. As wild as this may sound, SKX can help us. Speak to him. Ask him why all of this is happening. If he's got something to say, I'll get it out of him. Dolan's men are there, and they're not letting anyone near the scene. Leave that to me, Rosa. I can get us in. How do I know you're not working with Dorlan right now? I've taken my last order from that asshole. Ethan... LaRue is the only other agent I trust right now. There's nobody else. No one. We're on our own. They're holding SKX in the bus. We need to act fast before they take him to SCU. I'll draw the two agents away while you sneak in. What about the guy inside? That's your call, but whatever you do, do it quietly. Hey, where are we at on getting this transport out of here? Uh, we're just waiting for the okay. Apparently, there's some sort of confusion on what to do with them. <laughs> Sound like typical agency brand to me. Yeah. There was a big ruckus up at Black Lake. Where did you hear that? It's all over the news. The entire lodge was destroyed. Well, I don't know anything about that. Right, right. Of course you don't. What exactly is your business here, Agent? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd get a look at the infamous SKX. Does Dorland know you're here? No, no, not officially, but like I said, I was nearby. I guess that's one way of sneaking onto the bus. Why did you kill your uncle? He refused to cooperate. He had it coming. What about the mayor? Did you kill her for the same reason? Jesus! <laughs> How's the finger? Miss it? Do you... Think of me when you go to scratch. As I think of you every time I look in the mirror. Answer my question, you sick bastard. Or the fingers you left me will wrap around your neck. Answer me! <gasps> Such power. The Oro? Of course, the Oro! Why kill Van Horn and the mayor? Their body is possessed. The Oro's secret. And it was necessary. 
The Oro, who are they? Where can I find them? Shit! LaRue! SKX. Go after it. Hurry! I'll be okay. Responding. What's happening? LaRue's hurt, and that bastard SKX has escaped. What? I I'll send help. Don't let SKX get away.
Rosa, I found some sort of list. Hold on. One of Dolan's men just walked by. Okay, give me the details. I'll see if I can make an ID. Try it again, Ethan. Got it. Excellent work. Well, I've seen that face a hundred times on TV. It belongs to Mayor Rachel Mars. It's probably no coincidence SKX was captured near the bowling alley. This must be his base of operation.
Rosa, come in. I've located Farrell. You did? Is he alright? What's his condition? He's still alive, but cut up pretty badly. Okay. Well, the list of names now makes sense. It's a list of SKX's targets. The Magic Man? Whoever he is, must be next. SKX is studying me. Same as he did with the others. Help me. Cut these straps so I can get out of here. He's experimenting on the homeless. Testing. Perfecting. Hurry. They know you're here. SKX is delusional and psychotic, just like his test subjects. Let's move cautiously.
Two-faced rat himself. You still haven't grasped the situation, have you? Farrell's your executioner. He's not worthy of your loyalty. Don't do this, Dorland. He belongs with us. You're a fool if you don't see that. When did the SCU employ murderers? I take orders from the Oro, and so should he. Isn't that right? Get up! Finish the job! Kill him before he ruins everything! No! Do it! Remember who you are! I've risked everything. Find the voice! What's this about? <coughs> I thought you were on their side. Shut up! Think of this as a future investment. Yes. I look forward to cutting you open. Learn your little secret. But now is not the time. Ethan, something's happened. There's panic. Dorland's agents are gathering everyone up for questioning. They're looking for you. Rosa, listen to me. The Magic Man. I, I know that name. A real tricky son of a bitch. Hangs out at Svensson's Magic Theater. Have you heard of it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Meet me there as soon as you can, and make sure you're not followed. Okay, I'm on my way.
Ethan, wake up. It's okay, you were having a nightmare. <sighs> Damn! My head is killing me. You're exhausted. We both are. Like I was saying, SKX is out of the picture. Dorland and the Oro are our main concern. This may end up being a wild goose chase, but if we're right, the magic man can help us. regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. However, I managed to locate a few fan sites on the internet. From what I can gather, the name Oro is short for Oro Invictus, which means invincible voice. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Pretty remarkable, if true, but we must consider the source. You see anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? No specifics, but I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate, possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. However, the information is too sketchy to establish anything concrete.
kit with more info. Check it out. Before leaving the SCU, I managed to grab the disc Dorland's agents found on SKX. It's some sort of journal he was keeping. Most of it's meaningless babble, but listen to this. The root of the Oro's plan revolves around a tradition called Sonic Generation. It's the ability to produce complex sounds that project out from not just the mouth, but the entire body. People subjected to these sound waves experience acute bouts of paranoia. This is followed by hallucinatory episodes that slip quickly into psychosis and other forms of uncontrolled violent behavior. It goes on to say, people with natural tendencies to be violent become even more so when exposed to these sonic emissions. Ethan, the implications of this are huge. Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong in the city? Maybe not all. It's probably just the rambles of a man who's psychotic himself. But something about it rings true, though. Imagine if all of man's atrocities, war, murder, acts of cruelty, the very origins of crime itself can be explained and linked to this group. I'll admit it's pretty far-fetched, but a tantalizing theory nonetheless. Does he describe how Sonic Generation works? He does. It's a little sci-fi, but here's what he wrote. Their ability to create sonic tones is due, in part, to an enlarged hollow sternum and a higher than normal bone density. Unique vocal cords can create, when trained, complex sounds that reverberate through the sternum and chest cavity like a finely tuned instrument. Now get this. Various metal apparatuses, surgically implanted into the bone and skin, can amplify the effect. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Our next performance is a real crowd pleaser. Yes, comes by some horrible means. Believe the unbelievable. Like a bird, you are drawn to me, and like a bird, you find retreat impossible. I'm not here to play your fucked up games, Magic Man. No. No, not like a bird. Not like those other helpless people lining the bowels of the city. Enough babbling. Come out so I can see you. You're not so easily influenced. That much is obvious. That... that would be so... Ordinary. You're much more, aren't you? The underground is a buzz, Mr. Thomas. How do you know who I am? Fear travels fast. Start making some sense. 
Remendium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth, a bedtime story. But now, uh, you've made them think otherwise. You can all go to hell. Wait! Please! It's a gift! <sighs> the ideal body, perfectly tuned from birth, capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and bone. It's what they fear most. A power greater than theirs. This is bullshit. Are you a member of the Aura? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you, they are on the verge of suffocating this city. What? Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and hungry for power. Where can I find them? Oh, you... you don't know what you're asking. I can't... All right! Ah, uh, the peninsula. The answers you want are there. A warning to the old, the young, and the weak at heart. It only gets more fantastical. More, dare I say, fucked up from here. <laughs> Send my regards, Mr. Thomas. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. The barge is the quickest way to the peninsula. But it's nothing but a landfill. According to the magic man, it's where we can find the Oro. Maybe we should call the police. You said it yourself. We can't trust anyone now. Rosa, I've rattled their cage. This may be our only chance to get to the bottom of what's going on. They want me dead. Dorlan made that perfectly clear more than once. You don't understand. Oh. Rosa, come in. Talk to me. Shit.
Rosa, where are you? I think I made a mistake coming down here. I didn't know what else to do. I... Oh, God, there's something down here. Okay, find a place to hide and wait for me. No more meltdowns. So what's happening? Lay low for Christ's sake. I'm working my way to the far end of the barge. Meet me there.
one down. Come on, motherfuckers. Me. I'm sorry. What happened earlier wasn't your fault. Stay here.
We're here. Stay still. You're losing a lot of blood. I need to get up. I need to keep moving. I don't think that's a good... We need to get you to a hospital. I'm going up top to call for help. You stay right here. Rosa! You'll be okay. Don't worry. No. Trust no one. Don't let them get to you. I won't. Now just sit tight. I'll be right back. It's been a long road, hasn't it? I, I thought I killed you. I represent all your demons, Ethan. Alcohol was just one of them. What now? Acceptance. Of what? That I'm a freak? That I'm slowly losing it? To some degree, yes. Your hallucinations are an unfortunate side effect of their influence. It's what they want you to experience. But it's not real. I'm not real. Vox Remendium Unis. The voice. The remedy. The one. That's what's real. Enough! I don't want to hear it! It's what you are. It's what the Oro fears most. Many have died to protect you, Ethan. Including your parents. No. Acceptance, Ethan. Acceptance.
shards make for oddly appealing abstract compositions, but there's no mistaking that some form of evil exists there. At least that's the belief of many residents. It's a blemished landscape of our city and can be seen from almost every vista. But what can be done? These were the words of the late Tony Rhodes, pre-recorded only hours before his death. Beautiful, thoughtful, the end of a great reporter and friend. This is Sarah Brenton, City News. Good night.
Thank you. 
expected you would go on alone. Sorry, but I have shit to take care of. There's no sense in risking your neck tagging along. I understand. Look, when you need me, I'll be there. Good luck.
The city is under constant surveillance. And soon, our systems will be in full operation, further propagating our sonic ability. There's no escaping us, Mr. Thomas. You don't have the fucking right influencing people's lives like this. Continue to influence people. Watch them, shape them, manipulate them. Your purpose, Ethan, is to push back. Be the voice against the Oro. The cure that puts an end to the sickness they bring.
the Oro's motives. To create hostility. The unwavering desire to fight. <laughs> to, to unknowingly become protectors. Protectors from what? Tell me! You don't know, do you? Christ, you're the fool. A puppet like everyone else. No, Ethan! Grab the ladder now! Enjoy the scenic route, asshole! Cutting it a bit close, wouldn't you say? Well, you made it. That's the important thing. Anyway, the you-know-what has really hit the fan. You've uncovered something big, and I suspect over the next few weeks, more will be weeded out. Good thing, too. Some really influential people belong to the Oro. Hey, buddy. Soon as they fix that leg up, let's say you and I go get a drink. I don't think so, LaRue. Right on. Hey, man. Call me Pierce. My friends call me Pierce. <sighs> What I need is some sleep. and violence. It appears to be a national problem. We're looking into the issue. We're also supporting all local agencies in their efforts to... Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment.
Ready.